Hi Scorpio, welcome to your second week of October general love reading. The deck that I'm using today is the Crystal Visions Tarot. I really love this deck. I bought it recently and it's a gorgeous deck. And uh, this deck actually has a nifty little quirk. Um, it has another card in it called the Unknown card. So we'll see if we get a chance to see it. Okay, so the King of Cups, or the King of Swords, I should say, actually flipped over while I was shuffling, so I'm just going to put him off to the side over here. Okay, so for your overall energy, you got the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands, I always feel talks about messages. Whenever I get a knight or a page, to me that always symbolizes messages. Uh, the pages are... The beginning instances of making a decision or a message. Uh, for example, if you meet somebody and you start talking to them for a little bit, usually you'll be at the phase where they start to decide if they like you and if they have any intention of reaching out to you, uh, if they have any intention at all to pursue anything further than just a, relate or a friendship or a uh, but the knight, to me, is already, they've made that decision and they're moving forward, and now they're at a point where they're trying to figure out how they can go about doing that, and why they should, or like, if they were to, what would happen? Uh, those kinds of questions, those kinds of questions sort of that compound on the page, right? And with the knight, it's of a fiery disposition so that lends itself to passion to strength to very fiery passionate um love message so if this is related to love i'm i'm under the impression that you're going to get some someone someone coming in here soon and it's going to be really fast it's going to be really passionate and That's sort of the embody or the energy that they're embodying right now. Now with the two of wands, that to me. Whenever I get the ace, the two, or the three of wands, I always talk about this three-step decision-making process. Where I see the the ace as taking new information in, sort of surveying the situation, and then the two of wands would be sitting down with your field notes and drawing up a plan. And then the three of wands is already having made up your plan and now you're deciding, either deciding when to do it or like doing it or waiting to see what the results of your actions are. Usually the three of wands is already past the point of performing the task. But it could be that you guys are taking a little bit longer than you're used to. Um, I see the High Priestess. And the High Priestess talks about strong intuition. And you guys being a water sign uh, have really strong intuition to begin with. But 
I always say when I see the high priestess is whatever you're thinking, you're probably right. So I feel like a lot of you guys have a hunch towards something. And my advice would be follow your gut instinct on the situation. Follow your hunch. So I see the knight and the king of cups. Um, the fact that I see the knight of wands, the page of swords, the king of swords, the knight of cups, and the king of cups tells me that I'm seeing a lot of sort of ascension. And it could be that you're going to get a lot of messages from a lot of different people. Like all of a sudden too. Um, I'm noticing that the page of cups has its respective uh, king and so does the page of swords. That also has its respective king. The only king that isn't in the reading is the king of wands, which is uh, the respective king of the knight of wands. And I feel like it could be that that's like the specific person that you want, um, that they're not showing up. But uh, I don't know if these, like, because for some of you, you're definitely going to see different options pop up here soon. And with the knight, or the, with the hanged man, it could be that you should sort of take a second to reevaluate your options and what it is you're looking for in a relationship or whatever. But it, for some of you, it could be that you're trying to embody these types of qualities. With the King of Cups, um, he represents Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So you guys, I feel, are in your energy this week in October. Um, this is the second week of October, so you're not necessarily in your birthday season yet but i feel like for a lot of you you're getting ready for that uh your birthdays are right around the corner and i feel like for a lot of you guys with this wheel of fortune you're definitely getting into a point where you're starting to see the returns on your actions and i feel like you're getting a lot of good karma for what you've done sort of in the recent past I feel like you're in a situation where if there was anything negative in your life, you're sort of up on the uptake and you're looking at a lot more positive returns on your actions. Um, that's what I say whenever I see the Wheel of Fortune upright is that anything that was negative in your life is sort of swinging back up into the positive. So I do want to talk about the Devil and the Ten of Wands. Um, the Ten of Wands talks about burdens, and I feel that because you have the devil here, that's sort of your burden. Be careful with people that are like, that are being extra promiscuous towards you. Um, perhaps they don't have the best intentions. I always say that it's interesting to look at the devil card and how it manifests in each particular deck. Some decks will have devil cards that are more leaning towards the sinister aspect of the devil. Some of them will lean more towards the sexuality aspect. Some of them will lean more towards the violence or like the oppression, um, how the devil traps people. So I feel like there's two possible scenarios with this Ten of Wands and this Devil card. Either you are falling victim for people that are being more like promiscuous towards you or you feel as if people are unable to handle your sexuality um scorpio is the sign of sex and transformation so i feel like with your intensity with your plutonian intensity it's hard for some people to catch up and to keep up with you so Maybe it's that you really 
are like are having a, a tough time of it this week. Um, you may be coming off too strong and people and are turned off by that. Although, now that I think about it, that King of Swords really fought for its place here in the reading. Uh, he flipped over in the deck. And right before this, actually, I had a failed attempt of, of a reading where I looked at my deck and all the cards were flipped over uh, upside down in the deck from previous readings. And that's not how I like to start readings. But I went through all of them. I turned them all right side up and I flipped them all facing the same direction. <clears throat> and when I did this King of Swords still flipped over and still came out in the reading. And it was the 11th card, so it was the exact number of cards that I usually like to do. And there there it is. So definitely I feel like this King of Swords is very persistent. And for your last card of this reading, the Three of Pentacles, work together with people even though you're in this really intuitive position, that doesn't mean just because you know what's going on around you doesn't mean that you can control other people's actions. So if you work together with people, if you talk to them about it, you might be able to get a better outcome than just like planning around what you think they're gonna do. But other than that, I think this was a really good reading for you guys. I feel like you guys are in a really weird energy so just like take a step back, take a little rest, and then enjoy the last like little week you have. The last probably like two weeks because this week and the next week, and then we're into Scorpio season. So rest up and then have a good one. Uh, just try to enjoy life. All in all, this was a good reading. I just saw 12-12 on my timer, so... I wish you guys the best of luck, and I hope to see you guys next week for your next weekly reading.